Pierre Simon Karthik and Indian wildlife couple traveling from Canada to Patagonia. In this episode, find out why Todos Santos is called a portal town which never lets you leave. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Lime, but we don't have squeezer for. It's getting really bitter because the peel is bitter. Mm. Drink lime water every morning. Everybody, happy Sunday. Hope you guys are having a great one, just like how we are right now. We're currently in Toro Santos, a beautiful Pacific coastal town. We will be spending the weekend here. I'm so excited to explore this cute little town. It's full of cafes, art galleries farmer's market you name it it's such a hippie town hippie artful town i'm super excited to explore it right now we're parked just on a beach getting some work done we got our entire setup going on we have internet 4gb signal look at sim's shirt everybody guess who would have bought a cool shirt like this obviously i bought this shirt my shirt and this panty is my clothes but i think you look better in this baby than i do Thank you. Brought the pop in my life. <laughs> so this is our uh, campsite setup situation right now. The awning is out. We're facing the beach. Everest is on a mat because the sand is really hot. Poor puppy. Everest, how are you liking it? The portable toilet. Very simple. It's primarily for peeing for Sim. But uh, you can use it for number two also if needed. Put a bag underneath here and do your business. laundry in like two weeks but this is the awesome part about Mexico you can get laundry professionally done for a really good price so this was 160 pesos she's doing all of that yeah. by 6 p.m. by 5 p.m. wash dry everything Gracias. Gracias. Thank you. never been this excited about laundry in my life some groceries and then to the beach. Let's see all, how much all of that costs. A lot. In Mexico you cannot drink tap water so you gotta bring in your big 20 liter water jugs. I think they're like five gallons and they'll refill it for so they'll wash it actually from the outside and refill it with fresh drinkable water and then you have this pump that you attach on top and that's how you drink water here it's awesome uh, even we even use it for brushing your teeth and washing your face everything we just don't use tap water at all because it's just not advisable here to do that and it's super cheap to refill this water 15 pesos cheap we keep buying out so going back to the cooking skill oh my hair looks so funny I don't know what's happening with my hair I'm making some pasta making some pasta with some pesto sauce and some avocados and some vegetable I'm trying to soak some rice and some dal for later which I'll make either for the night for dinner or for morning most likely we'll have the next meal outside cuz cheap food So bomb. And I have any vegetables? Some sun dried 
tomato pesto and avocado and some olive oil makes for the best creamy pasta ever that looks amazing chef lunch is ready lunch is ready lunch is ready lunch is ready khana ready hai kisi ko aana hai to aa jao Beautiful. Harris, what do you think of the sunset? Harris, what do you think? Next sunset? Next sunset? You like the sunset, Harris? Hee 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 h
Hey, my friend. He's the man who gave me those vegan tacos. It's time to feed him. Dinner time! Sitting in as well. Dinner! <laughs> What's, what did he cook, chef? Basmati rice. Kali dal. Kali dal? Alu fry. Alu fry. And just like that, we became typical Indian neighbors. Bole to padosi. Saat me urkna baitna, saat me khana peena. And all the time just taking care of each other. I was gonna go into town to take a shower, but uh, our friendly neighbor offered me an outdoor shower. Uh, let me show you guys how this works. Yeah, you can close this from here. Uh, it's very rudimentary. I have these little That's fine. Yeah. grips so you can, if you really want some privacy, you can put it here. Yeah. They're over there. Uh, you just press this button here. Okay. And then to stop it, you press it from this side. Uh, feel free to use free. as much water as you want. Yeah! It's kind of too hot to be honest with me. Really? morning we were just leaving the campsite uh, on the way to a coffee shop when our van stopped working guess why we are out of gas we always carry a jerry can so we should be fine and good to go very soon how <laughs> okay thank god we have this Tim's doing something very exciting. She's at this yoga center here in town, taking a dance class actually. I want to see if I can sneak a shot inside of her doing her thing. Sim just exited out of our first dance lesson of tango. How was it? It's really nice. A lot of like you have to feel the music and feel the energy of your partner. Like through the chest, right? You, so you, his body is your body kind of thing. At the end she did like a stretching, relaxing session. It was so good. Mm. So you have to shake your body really hard and like mm. just push it down and like take a deep breath. It was just like child play and it was so much fun. The two things that make me happiest in the world is dancing and a really good dessert. It being our last night in Toro Santos, we went all out partying. One thing to know about Latin people, music is not and they start dancing. Just like us Desi people. Time had come to say bye to Toro Santos and our new friend Hu. We felt like we've known him for ages, which made saying bye to him even more difficult than we had thought. One thing we didn't mention about him is that he's a very talented artist, and as a parting token, he gifted us the goddess of Baha to protect us in our journey ahead. Yeah. Our little family in Toro Santos! Hey. <laughs> this right here is the saddest part about van life, or any nomadic life. People become your closest friends in a very short period of time and then you have to say bye to them even faster. But the journey never ends and you only hope that you will meet on the road ahead.
I actually lied. I, I think I wanna, I'm gonna really miss you guys a lot. You know? No? Not even a bit? We are gonna miss you. But the beauty is, it's never really a goodbye because you will see them on the road again. Hi, Patrick. <laughs> Bye brother, bye guys. Said bye to Toro Santo. It was honestly a very bittersweet bye because we met a lot of amazing people and it all just happened so fast with the amount of people we met. And we have to say bye to them even faster. Me. I think both me and Sim are feeling a little sad right now.